this is going to be one of the the few ways that you're going to get an increase in income stream in your retirement years. I'm David Wilson, founder and president of True North Retirement Advisors, where we do comprehensive retirement planning for business owners. Do you have rising dividend stocks in your portfolio? A growing stream of income in retirement is you have to have those companies that year in and year out are growing those dividends 8 to 12% a year. A rising dividend stock uh, that I wanted to share with you is a company called Johnson & Johnson. It's paid uh, increasing dividends for over 50 years. About 25 years ago, when my dad was alive, I bought it for him for $10.88. This past year, it hit a high of $146. So you can see right there over a 25 year period, we had over a 12 or 13 fold increase in the value. So you'd say, hey, that's pretty good. And, and it is, I mean, it's outstanding. And believe me, Johnson Johnson is, is like watching paint dry. It's that boring of a stock. But over time, it can, that's how you create wealth. The other key aspect is the growing stream of income that they've thrown up. And again, they've thrown up consistently seven, eight percent dividend growth a year. My mom got the stock after my dad passed, after my mom passed, uh, my brother and I currently own the stock, and we are getting over a 30% annual return just from the dividend on my dad's original investment. So not only do you increase wealth by owning rising dividend stocks, you can also get a, a growing stream of income over many, many years. Uh, back in 2014, Ned Davis Research did an analysis of companies that grew their dividends, uh, companies that uh, paid a dividend, companies that cut their dividends, and what they found is companies that consistently grow their dividends provide a better total return than all other stocks. So the, the Ned Davis Research uh, study was actually over a 44-year period from 1972 through 2016. And over that period, companies that grew their dividends, consistently grew their dividends, provided the best total return, 10.1%. Dividends are one of the most underrated aspects of stock ownership. And the reason for that is, is that it, it, it's something that is not very sexy. It doesn't get a lot of play by the media. You don't even, you, you have to look in special places in the paper just to find what the dividends are. But over the last 80 years, dividends have accounted for over 40% of the total return of stocks. So when you look at uh, dividend paying stocks, you want to be careful not to pick high dividend paying stocks because many of those companies, while they may yield 4 or 5% or even higher, typically do not provide a good total return. In fact, in many cases, they are even apt to cut their dividend. What you want to own are companies that pay dividends of between 2 and 3% a year, but are growing those dividends 8 to 12% annually. So if you're approaching retirement, or you are already in retirement, you want to have rising dividend stocks as a key component of your portfolio. Take a look at your portfolio to see if it is providing the kind of income stream that's going to serve you in retirement, or if there are other assets that you have that you might be able to convert into rising dividend stocks. Rising dividend stocks should be blah <laughs> to make sure uh, that was terrible. Yeah. Now I'm sweating. <laughs>